Hey guys, it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls, and tonight I'm doing another indie nail polish spotlight, which is one of my favorite videos to film for you guys. Basically, it's where I find a new brand, or new to me, a brand of indie nail polish. I buy a couple of their polishes, I do swatches, I give you guys a review, I kind of talk about the the different polishes that the company offers and just kind of try to introduce you to some maybe indie brands you did not know about. So tonight we're going to be doing Fan Chromatic Nails and I found out about this company when I was, I believe I had just been like watching Star Wars this summer and I was thinking like man you know I really want some Star Wars polish and then I got into Star Trek and I was like I really want some Star Trek polish so I started googling companies that were making polish towards those types of series and collections and this is how I found Fan Chromatic Nails. Um, they're on Etsy so I'll definitely link her below and all of her site information um, but I wanted to tell you just a little bit about the shop because um, she does write a little bit about her. So Fan Chromatic Nails offers unique limited edition artisanal nail polish with colors inspired by all manner of geeky goodness. Our nail lacquer is vegan, cruelty free, and toxic Toxic 3 Free. All co colors are personally designed and blended by artist Lene Zebest in her San Francisco, California studio, which I think is really, really nice. And um, I will, I bought a bunch of polishes. I bought all minis, which you guys know I'm a big fan of minis. I bought all minis. And um, all of these polishes I'm going to tell you kind of the inspiration for because she kind of talks a lot in her description about her inspiration for the polish, which I think is also nice because I love to have a story behind everything. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So just a couple of things that I like about the brand, even on her minis, she will put the polish name and I like her little logo up on the front of the bottle so you can actually tell this is called Raptor Girl. So I really like that she does that. I like that they're all kind of unique looking. Um, and she definitely has a, don a ton of like glitter and crelly jellies and toppers, all kinds of stuff. So we're going to first talk about this one which is called Raptor Girl. So I'll give you another up close shot of it. It is a beautiful kind of like dusty blue base with large copper um, glitter and there's just a bunch of like little pieces of glitter. It looks like gold in there. So a bunch of um, different types of glitters in this cute little polish. I don't know, like the orange and the blue, I think because I'm a gator, I went to UF, I always am attracted to orange and blue. So I think that's really what pulled me in. But this one took three coats to get opaque and I really, really like it. I think it's a fun glitter mix and I love that dusty blue color. Now, this polish, Raptor Girl, was inspired by the film and the comic Ghost World, which I know nothing about, but if you like that, maybe you might be interested in checking out her, some of her stuff. Like I said, she's got a bunch of, like, like she said, geeky kind of themed nail polish. Next up is called Between Two Worlds, and this is what it looks like up close. It's kind of got a dusty lilac purple base, and it also has orange copper glitter, um, and it looks like there's some also green and silver glitter. So just different, a different kind of mix. Um, I'll be honest, on her site it looked more gray to me. So it definitely, it is not gray. It is definitely like a purple lilac color. And this is what it looks like up close. And this one took also, I believe, three coats to get opaque as well. Very similar to this because I think it's a crelly jelly kind of base with that glitter mix in it. And this one was also a Star Trek one, so I was really interested in it. Um, it's based on, the, I guess, the character Tora Zael, which I'm not sure I have reached. I am only um, on season two of the original Star Trek, so I still have a long way to go. A lot of these are like Deep Space Nine references, so I have not gotten there yet. It is slow going, but we are getting there. Next up is a really cute one. This is very different. This is more of like a jelly base. This is called Save the Princess. This is in reference to Star Wars A New Hope. This is a gorgeous deep blue sea jelly with tons of really big gold glitter um, glitter particles and I really like this one. I just think it's really pretty. It's definitely, definitely different. I did notice this formula is a lot thicker um, than the others. It just, I just noticed a difference there. But here you go. This is two coats of that deep blue jelly with those gorgeous gold glitters in there and also some smaller glitters in there as well. Just looks like a sea to me. I don't know if that's why it attracts me to it, but it looks like a nice blue sea. So it's really, really pretty. Now this next one is a topper polish. It is like a gold holographic big and small glitters in here and it's called Fistful of Latinum. So here's what it looks like up close. 
and it's really really pretty in the bottle. You can see all of those gold holographic glitters in kind of like a clear base. This one I did um, two coats to kind of show you what you can build up and since there are large glitters in there you do kind of have to use like the dab and place method so that you get your bigger glitters where you want them to be. And then I also did one coat over black so you can kind of see what it looks like. It's really pretty. The bigger glitters you just, like I said, have to dab and move around if you don't like how they're placing. Um, this one is also a reference to Star Trek Deep Space Nine. And this one is um, a gas-based uh, currency. So I guess latinum is some kind of gas-based currency. I haven't gotten there yet, like I said, but I really like it. It looks very, very pretty in the bottle. Um, my only complaint is those large glitters you do have to kind of place where you want with your brush, which is easy to do. You just have to be mindful of that when you're doing that over a base of something else. Now this next one is called Liquid State. I really, really like this one. It is a, an extremely smooth formula. I noticed this one's a lot smoother than the others. It's got like micro um, gold in there and then really tiny gold glitter. And this is also a Star Trek um, themed polish. It's from Deep Space Nine and the character is Odo. She created it after, which apparently is one of the changeling people. Again, beyond me, I'm not really sure. But this one is just, oh, I feel like there's some even holographic in it. It's just a really, really pretty, you can kind of see that rainbow if, with the light. It's so smooth, it's so nice. This one takes two coats to get opaque, and it went on just probably the nicest formula out of all of the ones I've tried. And you guys, last up, this one's called My Precious. This one's in reference to Lord of the Rings and Gollum and the ring, obviously. That's he calls his My Precious. Very scary. Um, I love this one because there's gold flakes in here along with um, iridescent flakies. So this one is also a topper polish. And I'll show you. I did it over black as well so you could kind of see it clear and then over black. This is two coats over clear, so you definitely see those gold um, gold carrot flakes in there. And then over black you can see more of the iridescent glitters kind of popping through as well as the gold flakes. I think I did two coats over black as well. And you do kind of have to use the dab method with your brush on these, um, again just to get placement of where you want the gold flakes to be. But out of all of these guys, I have to say, like, Raptor Girl is so cool because I like that blue and orange mix. I really like Save the Princess. Even though it's a really, like, thicker formula, you still can make it work. And I love how, like, deep sea jelly it is. I don't know. It just reminds me of summertime for some reason. Um, let's see. Liquid State was the best formula out of all of them. This went on the smoothest and was just so pretty with those micro shimmers or micro glitter in there. It just, it was really, really smooth. And then I really do like the idea of like a gold flake topper. You just have to, again, kind of place it with your brush a little bit. So My Precious was also another really good one. Um, but I really, again, just enjoy trying new brands and just coming across this one, searching for Star Trek or Star Wars polish. This is what came up. So I really, really enjoyed it. You guys will have to let me know, have you um, ever heard of Fan Chromatic Polish before? I will leave the links and everything below. Um, let me know what your favorite was, was from the ones that I showed you guys, if you do have a favorite. Um, or if you already know of her polish and you have another favorite, let me know as well. Um, and if you guys have any recommendations, I'm always looking for new indie polish to try because I'm just really, really into it right now. So um, you can leave that below. We can chat below if you guys have any questions. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!